Hi, welcome back to Completely Random. My name is Karen, in case you don't know, and this is Franklin. He's a little tiny kitten, and I have been his mama for, what do you think, three weeks now, maybe? Three weeks? He's been getting into everything, but he's a good boy, and he loves me, and he's the type of cat that loves all over you, even though he's rotten. He does many, many <laughs> rotten, rotten things. Trust me. Um, like, I've tried to tape this so many times now. He just gets into it all. Yep. And he's adorable. And he has a brother named Benjamin. So Benjamin and Franklin. Frankie and Benji, for short. And uh, Benji is more laid back than Franklin. Um, he's the typical cat where... Like, feed me, change my cat box, and we'll be good. Like, that's it. That's all I need from you, human. Why else do you exist? Here's Benjamin. Come here, Benji. Look. Look at that handsome thing. Already he's, like, pissed just because he's being held. He's like, ugh. I didn't ask for this. Where are my cat treats? Ugh. <sighs> idiot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You look like baby Simba. Okay. Can I, can I do this now? Oh, you coming back? Well, come on back. Come here. Well, definitely, definitely. Here he is. Oh, let's just take a video of you. I'll take a video of you this whole time and people just love it. Look at the earring. He was playing with them earlier. Sparkles, he don't want to play with it. He's bored with it now. But at first he was like, sparkle. Dingle. I must swat. I must swat. Uh, not a whole lot's been going um, going on with me. Um, gosh, I think I've lost track. But I don't know if I've even said, but this will be my 30-day review of all the boxy charms that I opened. Um, I'm still going to the gym. I'm still working out. Uh, but my eating habits, I did really well for a while, like broccoli, cauliflower, um, getting lots of vegetables, fruits, and chicken, and healthy stuff. And I, um, I don't know, I've just been stressing out. I feel like sometimes I get uh, 10 steps ahead to take 20 steps back. And um, so I've just been kind of struggling a little bit with that. And so I'm, I'm a stress eater. I'm stress eating. Um, so I have gone back to a lot of just shitty food and my body feels it. Um, but this coming... Uh, today is Sunday, so on Saturday, next Saturday I plan on doing healthy stuff and getting back um, into the vibe of it. I absolutely love going to the gym now. I notice that it does give me a, whole, a lot of energy. Um, but it is. I mean, it's definitely a time-consuming concept because I'm getting up at like 7.30 in the morning, driving uh, to the gym to work out before I go to work. I'm getting ready before work, but I get so overheated at the gym, I can't do my makeup before I go to work, so I'm going in barefaced, which, you know, I mean, either way, it probably doesn't matter if I wear it or not, uh, but it bothers me a little bit sometimes, but I just get way too overheated, and, um, I mean, it is, and it, it's time that uh, is taken away from, from my kids, too, you know, they're not used to me leaving. Uh, so early so it's been a time adjustment for everybody but I, th I think we're getting there and it is a good thing and I just have to don't knock that over uh, keep <laughs> keep telling myself that um, I went this past week and tried to donate blood I was only able to do a uh, half a bag so it wasn't worth it and I got so sick not as sick as a co-worker of mine um, like honestly I think she almost passed out I thought she was gonna have to go to the ER uh, I didn't really realize um, donating blood kind of took such a toll on your body so and I think it just depends on who you are I don't think I was healthy enough <laughs> maybe to do it because there was this gal in there that was like this golden goddess and she was like kicking her legs and she's like I gotta donate I'm competing with this guy that works here and I gotta donate my blood in four minutes and by god she did it like three minutes and 54 seconds um you know and she was like perfectly ship shape as, as far as I know um, the symptoms for me didn't come until later and neither did it for my coworker. Um, so yeah, so be careful. <laughs> I don't, I'm not doing it again. Um, it kind of scared me away from doing it. Um, I'll have to think long and hard and 
uh, I guess I think I just need to be in better better shape physically uh, to do that uh, let's that's it besides the two little kittens and um, yeah I love you I love you so much look how cute you are oh my goodness okay let's see uh, first box I'm gonna do is this one oh and so let's let's talk about these products Franklin the first product in that box was this Elemis Superfood uh, Vital Veggie Mask, and I used it. Um, I don't think it really did anything excellent for my skin. I can't rave and review it. It is $35. Would I rebuy it? No. Will I use all of it? Yes. <laughs> so I can't recommend, because I think there's way cheaper stuff that's going to make your skin feel the exact same way. As, as this does so that's a little bit pricey and to me it's just normal average average mask I don't I don't know how else to say it the next product I got was whoa boys um, that was like a Superman leap was this butter London eye palette and uh, of course you can tell I really enjoyed those three the most um, and it was a nice palette I mean, it wasn't really, there wasn't a lot of dust to it, which I was kind of surprised. Me and Butter London, we don't have the best history because a lot of their products that I've received, I just, I don't like. So when I got this one, I was like, it's not going to be any different. It is. The price tag on this is the retail price would be $32. I think for $32, you could probably get a bigger palette and one that would have more colors in it, plus this color scheme in it. But if you're into Butter London and you're looking for one, yeah, I'd recommend this one. That's why my makeup, also I'm wearing a lot of these products that I got. It's in another box, and so that's what's going on there, too. I felt like I should explain that. I don't know why. I just kind of looked at my makeup and was like, mm. Okay. And I also got this Luxie uh, three-piece brush set, which I'm still working on, some Luxie brushes. I really do enjoy them. Um, I don't have any complaints, and I just didn't open these because I'm still using a big 10 piece set that I got from another box months ago. So these are great brushes to have. Um, you know, I recommend them. They're, they're expensive though, $30. I don't know a lot about brushes, but it just kind of seems like um, for $30, they work. Do I think you could probably get cheaper three piece brushes that work? Yes, I do. But you know. The other thing I got, sorry, I'm trying because there's so many products. I don't mean to rush. Maybe I need to slow down. Um, oh, two kittens in a box. They're in my BoxyCharm box, that big one that I got. They're so cute. Um, was this Ofra Liquid Lip. And it goes on, uh, the uh, retail is $20. That's what I'm wearing right now. And it does, it goes on so smooth and velvety and it is for that moment but it's not very comforting the rest of the day and it did not and it says long lasting liquid lip it's the color in Santorini it did not last me all day I can tell you that and it's not the most comfortable lip product I've ever had on my lips either and I've had another Ofra and it was kind of the same like it goes on great um, but that overall comfort and the overall last, to me, it wasn't there after like eating lunch or drinking. Um, yeah. And the other thing on here was a peel gel liner. I'm going to be honest. I gave it away. I didn't even bother to try it. Um, so that was that. And that was $21. I know. And so I just don't wear it. And honestly, like I said before, I've been going to the gym and, um, it just doesn't, I don't know, I'm not able to really wear makeup, and I don't even do gel liner anyway, so, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Let's move on to the next, next, I'll do this little pink card next. Are you falling asleep? Um, oh, something that I did get that I would recommend that you buy 
absolutely. The price on here says $39, and I don't believe that that's true. It's this Becca Hydra Mist and Refresh Powder, and I think you can find it online for way cheaper, and I think you can find this product at Ulta or Sephora for for cheaper than $39. And I'm telling you what, once I run out of it, if it is $39 and I have it, I will buy this product again and again and again. It is a weightless powder, sets and refreshes, and it's uh, your makeup or whatever, invisible finish, so it doesn't add any color to you. Um, formulated with 50% water and glycerin, this powder creates a mist-like sensation on the skin for a seamless finish and a comfortable feel. And it feels amazing. It is so cooling. And it does. It cools your whole face completely down. And it comes with like a little lid that you have to pop up. And it's very powdery. <laughs> um, and it doesn't have a bad scent. It just kind of has like a... I don't know, just a basic powder scent, I guess. But this absolutely, hands down, I was thrilled to death. I even took it to work and I let the girls at work try it and they loved it. This by far is probably the best product that I've received through BoxyCharm. So yes, run out or order it online and get, let's see, the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. You will not regret it. That was amazing. The other stuff in the box, not so amazing. Let's see. I also got this Glow Ahead Illuminating Face by Wander. And I can't tell a difference. I don't really notice that it adds an extra glow to my face. I'm wearing it right now, but I don't know. It's $42. Save your $42, hands down, save it, because no. I know that I had, and I don't remember the price on it, because it's been so long, but my favorite uh, glow product that went under foundation that I actually feel added a glow to me was this Tardiest uh, Pro Glow, and it worked. And I don't, it's tart, so it could have a pricey, a pricier price tag. I'll look it up and, and uh, let you know in the uh, video section of it, but I'm, I'm for sure it wasn't $42. So, no, I was, I mean, I'm disappointed in it. Will I finish it? Will I finish the product? I don't, I don't, I don't even know, to be honest. Maybe, but 42 bucks. The other product I had in here was a Tarte Mascara, Big Ego, and it does have a um, fantastic big brush on it. But if you're not careful, you will have fallout all over your face with it. So you have to definitely be careful when applying it. Or even sometimes I've even sneezed, and that could be my fault, after applying it. And it it goes everywhere. And then I have to take like a Q-tip and try to get the mascara off my face. I don't like to do that. To me, I don't, ha I don't have time. Like I have everything timed out. It's, if I'm doing my makeup, I don't have time for cleanup crew. No. Let's see the other thing I had. Let's see. There's there's more. Oh, there's there's also a kitten hug involved. Um, I ended up with this Glimmer Shadow Duo by Ace Butte. It's a silver and a purple color. Um, the purple is called Huckleberry, and the silver is called French Vanilla. This duo is $25, and they are creamy and soft. It's what I'm wearing right now, but it's a lot of glitter. If, I mean, if you like a lot of glitter and you like this eyeshadow, then yes, you will like, yeah, you don't, you don't need eyeshadow because you're perfect. Yeah. He's going to sleep. But I mean, as you, that's the French vanilla, and it, it is soft. I mean, it's creamy. But it goes on kind of sparse, and I really had to, like, scrape and apply a lot, especially the purple color. Um, I don't I don't like it at all, but I think I may keep it until after we do this Halloween contest at work. Jackson. Jax. <sighs> uh, 
Um, cause we were talking about doing kind of different makeup on our eyes. So I may keep these around until then. And then afterwards I will be, uh, gifting those to someone definitely. And this also came with like a lip liner that I did not keep. I didn't even try, so I can't tell you if the Steve Laurent lip liner really works. It was $15, but yeah. No, I gifted it right away, and that's okay. It's it's not going to make or break it. And this is the big boxy lux that I opened up. That's also the box that you're enjoying. Well, he's, he's given his kitten approval. Look at the pity paws. Um, his little box is just going. I wish you probably can't even hear it. Yes, I love you. I love you too. I ended up with this Violet Voss Essentials Eyeshadow Palette. And it is $29. And I actually did not think I would enjoy it. But I did. Even though it has all those crazy... <laughs> <laughs> kind of collars. I didn't really go in for very much of the crazy. Um, I did try like the more um, this shades here and I tried this one and this one. Are you gonna try it? Do you want to see? Oh he sees himself. Oh my gosh. Did you? I know you're breathtakingly handsome. I agree. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So I honestly, let's see how much this is. $29. I don't know. I mean, it has a lot of the crazier colors in it. Again, if you're looking for a fun palette, sure. Go out and get it. But for $29, I just wouldn't. I know, I'm such a Debbie Downer today. The only thing I'm excited about is this Becca powder. Go, run, buy it. Why aren't you already online ordering this? <laughs> and then I also got this Hydrobiotic... A recovery sleeping mask um, from Dr. Brandt and I I've, I've used it religiously the only thing is is that my dogs tend to lick the product right off um, so maybe it, I would have noticed a bigger difference if you know it was actually left on my skin but it's literally you wash your face and you apply this and you just leave it on you leave it on overnight um, sorry, I had to plead with Jackson to, to be quiet. I honestly feel like I hear uh, coyotes. They're working um, construction in the field that's in front of my house. And um, I definitely heard coyotes. And that's a very scary thing, even though I have a fenced-in yard. That's like my biggest fear um, is coyotes jumping my fence or something. So um, he was well within his right to bark but I knew he was going to continue for a little bit. Um, I'm sorry, I was talking about this. Again, I feel like my dogs just kind of licked it right off my face. So who knows? Who knows if it really, really works? And it's a $52 uh, price tag on this. So no, but I will, I will use it. <laughs> but I just, I don't have $52 to spend on, on things like that. Um, the other thing that was in there was this Hank and Henry Blickety Black Eyeliner. Um, and I did, I gave that away. Uh, they are enjoying it. Um, the other thing I got was, in this box, was a $22 Stila uh, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. It did not stay all day. I had to reapply it. Um, and I don't know, is this the one that says... No, it didn't promise me that it didn't feather or something. I think that was the other one. Um, but I had a lot, a lot of compliments on this. But you have to be so careful when applying it or it just gets all over your face. And I don't like that. Again, it's just a matter of a time crunch. Like, I would never spend $22 on a product that I'm going to have to clean up my face. I'm just not going to do that. Um... So I will be, it's the coyotes again. Um, so he's going to go crazy. Just one sec. Okay. <laughs> so as I was saying, 
I did get a lot of compliments. I don't know, this video is just going to be Space Cadet. You know, I have tried to do this video a few times and it's just... <clears throat> struggles real today. But I also have this uh, Wet n Wild uh, Liquid Cat Suit and it is in the shade Video Vixen 599 Walmart is where I bought this. This of course came in the boxy charm, and I did get a lot of compliments. I get a lot of compliments on both, but to me, they were um, they're about the same. This is the Stila um, that goes on very very uh, messy, and this is the Voodoo Video Vixen, and basically it's about the same. And the Wet and Wild goes on perfect. I don't have to clean up my face. I don't have to clean up my lips. For $5.99, I'm going to buy a product that actually makes sense. Not a product that's going to cost me time. Because everything is timed. <laughs> oh goodness, you're going to get makeup on you. Uh, I'm going to set you down for a minute. So basically, that's the same, same shade. And I get compliments on you know either one when I when I wear it so I would say pass up on this go to your local department store and check out the wet and wild liquid cat suit it's never disappointed me and I don't think you will be either and it's long wearing and it does stay on all day and it's comfortable on my lips end of story so I'm, I'm glad I solved that for you Okay, let's talk about this next palette. I gave it a lot of heat, and I don't, it didn't work out for me. It's this Tarte Park Avenue uh, Princess Palette for $45. Save your $45. I'm wearing it right now. These shades are just, it smells good. It smells like chocolate, but these shades right here are too dark. I mean, those really aren't, but those definitely are. And this is like the shine, and I guess I do have a little bit of shine um but not enough i'm just i did not enjoy this product at all a product i do enjoy is this tardius pro glow that i got and it's like perfect because it has the blush the shimmer and the bronzer right there it's perfect i love this is my go-to. This is what I'm usually wearing every day. If I'm not wearing that, I'm wearing a different blush with, what did I do with it? Um, another bronzer, it's just, I got it at CVS. You get it at a department store, it's just butter bronzer. I'm sure you've heard of it before. I have the light bronzer shade and it's, it's expensive. It's probably 14, 15 bucks, but you can find, and it smells like toasted coconut. Actually smells better than the chocolate. But, um, and you can find a coupon or sometimes they have one, buy one, get one 50% off in store, a uh, special, you know, that sort of thing. So I, I mean, unless you know that this is up your alley and this is something that you would enjoy, absolutely hands down, spend the money for it. But no, I just, I can't recommend I, no, that's just a waste of money. It's a waste of your $45. Take your $45 and buy something that you would actually enjoy. Um, yeah, if I spent $45 on that, I would have taken it back the next day and be like, I want my money back. Um, and that's the truth. And not that I, I, you know what? No, I wouldn't even spend the $45 on it. No, because I would have tested it. Um, <laughs> sorry. The other thing I've been using on a, on a daily basis um, is this Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum for $49. I don't really notice a big difference in my skin. I'm not really sure that it's working. I've been using it and a friend of mine's been using it every day. It smells great, but it's $49. Will I continue to use it? Yeah, I'll use up the bottle or whatever. But afterwards, no, because there's really... I can't say that there's this drastic difference, like, oh my god, this has made my life in skincare. No. I did get this, and I have been using it, I have enjoyed it, even though it's 
$69.99, this Moda, Mata, however you say it, Studio 8-piece brush kit. Um, and it tells me what they're for, so that's part of the reason why I kept the packaging. Um, but I really, I've enjoyed using them. They're great brushes, they're comfortable, it applies stuff well. Um, and it's cruelty free, 100% vegan, no animal products, byproducts or whatever in it. Um, but the price tag of $70, no. I mean, maybe if you think somebody would spend 70 bucks on you for Christmas and you want, no. $70 honestly is like a gas bill. Um, if you got cheap electricity, it could be part of an electric bill. Could be gas for your car a couple times. So I guess when I break apart stuff like that, I'm like $70, that's a lot. And you're spending it on brushes. Again, I think that's part of the why I get these boxes so I can get products like this and I don't have to pay that big exorbitant price, but I can also enjoy them because there's no way in my lifetime, well, I won't say that when I win the lottery. I'll probably throw down some $70 on some brushes. But in general, no, that's not even, I wouldn't even ask anybody to spend $70 on me, period. The last item that was in that box was this IGK Mistress Hydrating Balm for your hair. It smells amazing. It's leave-in conditioning balm that won't weigh your hair down. And um, I've enjoyed using it and the scent is amazing. It's $29, but after the tw I'm done with the tube, it'll be bye-bye forever because I will not spend $30 on this, but I am enjoying using it. So, moral of the story, kids. Only one product I enjoyed. <laughs> Again, is this Becca. This is um, Hydra Mist setting powder. Amazing. Like, ah, and this floated down. Um, yeah. So overall, that's my uh, great opinions of everything. Um, I know I thought that they were a little negative, but I don't know. I guess... You know, I don't know if women in their 30s, and I think sometimes, and I ordered this box and I was in my 30s. It's not like I started BoxyCharm getting it when I was in my 20s. You know, I'm in my mid to late 30s now, and I don't like glittery things. Like this crap on my eyelids, it's driving me crazy. I just feel like, maybe, maybe you're never too old for a little bit of sparkle bling. But I know deep down it's going to take forever to remove it from my eyes just because it's glitter and glitter will, you know, it lasts forever, doesn't it? And it's just, I just feel like I don't want glitter. And sometimes I feel like sometimes they need to pay more attention to the age of the person um, getting these boxes. I don't know. To me. Or maybe I just need to go on there and be like, don't ever send me anything glittery like this ever again. Just like I need to tweak my my thing to not get any more um, eye, eyeliners. <laughs> but, um, but overall, you know, good or bad, that's what it is. But you got to keep in mind that I'm, I'm broke 99.9% .9 of the time. So sometimes that's where my, um, my will to buy these products kind of wavers, wavers in. Um, but I don't know if that's, hands down, I, I would pay whatever for this. But overall, that's it. I'm glad you got to meet meet my two boys. They're just lovely and amazing. Um, he's walking everywhere. It's probably going to tear the whole damn thing down. He just, he just is. All right, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed. I know, I'm tired. I feel like I look tired. I've been napping. I got up and was like, you know, I probably should do a video. So I just did one. All right. You guys take care of yourselves. Seriously. Take care. And until next time, peace, love, and hugs.